because after Amazon, are you feeling yourself somewhat confused in identity? Are you a, a cricketer or a film star? Do you sometimes have people confusing you yeah, one for I'm, the other? Yeah, people do. But uh, these days, I'm, 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 I'm actually playing a con man. So I'm thinking like that. <laughs> so from a cricketer to a con man. Yes. <laughs> you know, small advice from all of us. It's one thing if people are mistaking you for a cricketer. <laughs> when they start mistaking you for a con man is when you've got problems. Yes. So yeah, you've got to be careful much. as to how realistic you're going to make I'm this. trying to. Well, it, you know, it's great, Shashan, to have you with us. And you, I think, saw some of the rules of that. So it's a contest. Get kids involved. Yes. Make it engaging for them. Make it a contest for them. Make it a game that they can go out and compete. And while competing with each other, you try and change the country. Does the idea sound fundamentally sound to you? Pretty much, because uh, the kind of... Uh, 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 Conditioning we have in school, uh, anything that is important to us has to do with also with uh, the right kind of acknowledgement, and uh, so th I think this is a, this is a this is a very great thing because what we are doing is uh, we are creating something uh, which benefits everything everybody in the community, and at the same time, uh, individuals are, are getting acknowledged for that. Right. So, so, so let, me, let me get you in in, in on in, on uh, the the broader aspects of. When you look around at the country, when you're seeing the problems that there are in the environment and cleanliness, you know, these are issues that perhaps you should have paid a lot more attention to it a long, long sooner. Yes, yeah, the thing, uh, and specifically uh, with our country, I guess, uh, because, <laughs> yeah. uh, because somehow uh, we are way, way uh, smart, or I can say as smart as anybody in the world, uh, yeah. but that's individual. But yeah. when we are public, when we act as a group, we somehow manage to act as, you know, dumb people. Yeah. Uh, so this is what it is. And it can be, it can be, see, it, it is a tendency, it is a normal natural tendency. It can be explained from uh, uh, subjects like mathematics also, game theory, yeah. or behavioral economics. Um, so, but at the same time, I think uh, uh, t this tendency in India is much, much greater than any, any, anywhere else. So, you know, Suman, that's probably the reason why we've decided to get kids into it. Because let's face it, yeah. this generation is far smarter than, than any generation which has preceded them. I agree. Would you agree? Absolutely. I'm surprised all of you aren't agreeing with that. <laughs> you do agree, right? All right. Being smart is one thing. Being committed and smart is another. So that's really what this campaign is trying to do. It's, all, it's, it's fine to be smart. True. It's fine to think you're tech savvy. And Absolutely. it's great you're sending pictures to each other on Facebook. But don't just use Facebook and yes. devices to, to bitch about how bad things are. Do something about it. That's, that's the aim, right? That's the aim. And why did you think of getting kids involved? OK. So let somebody else answer that. Uh, kids, who won the game today? Good lord, yeah. Who won the game today? India. Can't hear you, man. Where's the Josh, yaar? Who's won the game? India. Uh, a little better. Who won the game today? India. Exactly. You know, this is something, passion. We can get anything on board, any kind of resource. But this is something we can't get from anywhere else. That's the reason we decided that kids have to be in. OK. Of course, the way that this game was so engaging, you could have probably asked adults and we'd have screamed also. You know, just, it was a rather exciting game. So, you know, perhaps not the best example, but yeah, I get it. The passion that children have and the commitment yes. is huge, which is why you make it a competition. Absolutely. And I'm sure many of them are asking, yeah, look, this is all very well. Right. Six months, you're going to make us compete with each other. Right. There, are, there is going to be great outcomes of that six months that Absolutely. we're going to hopefully have a cleaner environment. We're going yes. to have you know, all of that stuff. There's going to be protection from mosquitoes. There's True. going to be clean up drives. Trees will be planted. Absolutely. So you know, guys, uh, there are five things which you need as a priority in life, as a student. The first and foremost is your country. The second is your society. Third is your school. Fourth is your family and friends. And last, but not the least, is you yourself. In this specific program, the way we have made it, right, you can actually ensure that everybody is there as number one in the priority list. This is what you're doing. You can make 
the planet, the country, the society a little more greener, a little more cleaner, a little more healthier. You can win prizes in the process. You can leave a better world for your loved ones. And obviously, in this whole process, you know, when you spend time with your friends, when you do your school proud, you will also end up with individual. Like Vikram has already mentioned, it is a gifts gallow, man. You just have to do something, remain focused, and there is something for everybody. Yeah. We want you to have fun. That's the bottom line. Okay, have fun, make an impact, and yeah, and, and the, the, the rest will follow. Um, let, let me just ask you on the broader themes of involving young people, and then I want to come to each of those three specific goals that we have. The entire concept of involving young people to try and make a better India. The right way to go in your view? I think uh, to a large degree, people uh, of our age or even a little younger generation have become very skeptical. Uh, either because we know too much or we have a history of problems with too much. With any change, what you need is sheer enthusiasm, which doesn't have logic. And that's the only way you can overcome obstacles which don't appear to be logic. Exactly. So if we really want to bring about a change, uh, you need illogical enthusiasm. You need illogical. That's how independence of a country comes about. Sure. And I hope that this campaign involving the children at the center, because that's their future, will bring that illogical enthusiasm, which will break through some of the problems we face, which our generation has not been able to solve. Right, uh, Yusuf, let me get you in. And first of all, I have to ask you this question. Would you like to explain to all of us what exactly a WASH specialist is? Yeah, uh, I think it's a WASH stands for Water, Sanitation, and Hygiene. So this is an abbreviation used in globally for the who's working in the water, sanitation, and hygiene field. So I look after the Maharashtra WASH program of UNICEF Maharashtra. So, I, so that's the okay. WASH specialist. It's a, just an abbreviation. So it's not specifically teaching anybody here personal hygiene in case they have not been <laughs> worrying about personal hygiene. Just do, just do yeah, that. Yeah. All right, so water, sanitation, hygiene, key themes of this. It's been one of those areas that has been actually neglected in this country a lot. And I think it's great that in the last two, three years, a lot more attention has focused right. on it. And you have to give part of the credit for that to the entire Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Perhaps one of the most successful campaigns that this government has done, it has really helped in changing mindsets. Are you finding it much easier now when you're talking about sanitation and hygiene? It's far more, people are far more receptive than they were five years ago? Yeah, I think that uh, if you see the statistics, like uh, the, when the Swachh Bharat mission launched in 2014, till now, more than three crores, 50 lakhs individual toilets has been constructed in rural households. We have more than 1,70,000 villages have been declared open defecation free. Means no one is defecating in the open or going outside for defecation. We have such more than 100 districts are open defecation free. We have three states like Sikkim, Kerala, and Himachal Pradesh, entire three states declared open defecation free. So I think Honorable Prime Minister has made one thing that I would like to say that he could able to make sanitation glamorize, if I use the word. We aspire for toilet in the house. We aspire for good hygiene practices. Because otherwise, what happens is that it was never our priority. If you see the 2011 census of government of India, we had more number of mobile phones than the toilets. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened with the Swajh Bharat mission, with the political commitment, and often I use the term administrative activism, it is, has become much easier to approach. And at the same time, along with the Swajh Bharat mission, Honorable Prime Minister has also launched the Clean School, Clean India campaign. And right. I think that better that this particular campaign will further the strengthen the Clean School, Clean India campaign. OK. So just to remind you, in case you are just tuning in or you know, trying to figure out what those three things are that schools are going to compete with each other in, the first is Swachata, which is a clean up drive. Then there is Vatavaran, which is the environment planting of saplings. And finally, there's Swastya, which is essentially worrying about you know, mosquito-borne diseases. And let's just take you through each of them. Now that you started talking about Swachata, uh, let's just spend a couple of minutes on it, trying to understand what it is that should be done in those cleanup drives. So it's also been working on, on, on toilets. And there's a large number of toilets in other areas that you've done. Building of toilets, though, is only part of it. The cleanup drives that we want people to do is just removing garbage, removing kachra, making sure that your environments are clean, which is something that all of us can do. You, the children might say that it's very tough for us to go and build toilets. True, but you can clean the street in front of your school. Yeah, 
Okay. First of all, I would like to congratulate NDTV. Very, very good concept. Very uh, big need of the time. And just to correct, we are not just building toilets. So this is a 360 degree model. Yeah. Toilet is just one part. And we feel so much connected with this better because we are working on plantations, we are working on health. And that's where Sudesh model is very interesting. It is 100% execution. So that is another big strength in this better India that a lot of execution focus, impact focus is there. So toilet, coming to your point on about toilets, toilet construction is just one part of the whole program. It is the access we are providing. Very much important is use and maintenance, and also the wash, wash uh, habits, uh, which has to be inculcated. So that's where I think all the three components of sanitation or hygiene is important. Right. In your view, how you know, when it comes to the sanitation part of it or the cleanliness part of it, why is it that you think a toilets have not been constructed, and b even more seriously, you have garbage lying in all corners of the country, and people have not really been focusing on cleaning it up? See, I think uh, if I wear my management corporate hat, uh, one has to understand that any change has a structure. If you just wish for the change to happen, it's not going to happen, so you need to follow a structure. And the structure uh, which management gurus have come together is the fact that it's a three-step process. And the first step was about creating huge amount of dissatisfaction with status quo, which is what I think is happening in the environment, that dirt is not allowed, and the kind of country we have is, is not good enough. And I think a lot of that has happened. The second is to create a vision of tomorrow which is so compelling that people will jump out of their bed and go work for that vision. And I think to a certain extent we are progressing towards that but not enough. And that what is that vision and what is in it for me? And I think this campaign is extremely good from the fact that it's trying to connect what is in it for me. So it's not a prime minister vision or government of India vision, but it is connected with me. The third step is an important step in terms of if I am frustrated with today, excited about tomorrow, what are the specific steps which I need to take to go from here to there? And I think the problems are well stated. The future direction is clear. The steps to be taken to go from here to there are not clear. And that's where this campaign comes in, where you are saying, take micro steps. And if we take a million micro steps, then a billion people's life will change. And that's what this campaign looks like to be. And it's very, very exciting. So, Shushan Ji, those who are watching us now, we want to know what we are doing, 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 what we are doing. This is a contest, this is a competition. The country of the country can register the school in the country. And there are three things. For six months, this campaign will go. There are three things that we have to do with the schools. Number one, when we are talking about the environment, we have to put them on the ground, saplings on the ground. Number two, when we talk about health, we have to go and keep our own area clean. And when we talk about health, we have to go and see that the children who are in the areas, how do they protect their children from the areas? These are the three things. If you are in the school, do you want to run away from school? Yes, absolutely. And what do you do? First of all, when I look back here, all the retrospection comes to me in a lot of retrospection. So now I am getting to understand one thing very well. As you have told me, if we have a lot of micro steps that we have to take to get to the future that we want to, that we want to take the perseverance, that we have to take two, three, four, five, four, five, 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 five. I think we have to dig down. We have to see why are we the way we are. Why do we behave in this way? We know that it is so important, but still we don't do it. Uh, to understand, we need to understand the importance of cooperation. And I'm saying it, I'm emphasizing it again and again. Because we somehow think, school mein kya hota ki bachcho ko bola jata ki number one ao, number two ao, number three ao. To hum log hardwired hai, ye uh, sabko piche chhod ke khud aage jane ke liye. Lekin at the same time, hume lagta hai ki ye jo uh, selfishness hai, ye cooperation ke saath coexist nahi kar sakte. Jabki ek karti hai, और अगर हम साइकोलॉजी में देखें तो हमें जो इंस्टेंट ग्रैटिफिकेशन मिलता है वो बहुत सेल्फिशनेस अगर हम अपने बारे में सोचें तो तुरंत मिल जाता है लेकिन हम एक कम्युनिटी के बारे में सोचें तो वो डिलेड होता है तो हम वो स्टेप नहीं ले पाते बट अगर ओवरऑल हम देखें तो ये जो डिलेड ग्रैटिफिकेशन है विच इज मच मच मोर देन द सम ऑफ ऑल दीज इंस्टेंट ग्रेटिफिकेशन दैट इज समथिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ अस नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड तो मेजर समान आपने इस पर काफी काम किया है अगर कोई स्कूल के लोग हमें देख रहे हैं एन इंडिया के दर्शक हमें लाइव देख रहे हैं अभी तो अगर आपको उनको बताना है कि भाई अगर आप स्कूल में हैं आपको अभी करना क्या है तो नंबर वन आपको हमारी वेबसाइट पे आना है ndtv.com/slash/behtarindia स्कूल्स को रजिस्टर करना है और फिर 
तीन कंपटीशन है छह महीने ये कंपटीशन चलेंगे तीन फेजेस में ये कंपटीशन है और एंड में स्कूल को इनाम मिलेंगे इंडिविजुअल्स को इनाम मिलेंगे और इसका फायदा देश को भी मिलेगा तो क्या ये तीन कंपटीशन की फेजेस हैं जो आपके तीन फेजेस हैं आपके पहले फेज में आपको बेहतर स्वास्थ्य के जरिए आपने पैसे कलेक्ट करने हैं बट पैसे आपने तब कलेक्ट करने जब आप पहले अवेयरनेस दे रहे हो लोगों को आपने खुद पहले डेंगू के बारे समझना अगर हम एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं तो आप जब दूसरों के पास जा रहे हो आप पहले उनको बताइए कि डेंगू क्या होता है हम उसका रोकथाम कैसे कर सकते हैं एंड उसके बाद अगर वो इंटरेस्टेड होते हैं तो वो किसी अंडर प्रिवलेज गेरा नंबर वन कि उनको मच्छरों के लिए करना है नंबर दो उनको सैप्लिंग प्लांट कर बिल्कुल बिल्कुल तो ये सैप्लिंग्स की जो बात आई है इसमें हम ये उम्मीद करते हैं दैट अगर कोई भी अगर स्कूल है अगर उसके आसपास के इलाके में वो अगर पौधे लगा सके ये बहुत खुशी की बात होगी लेकिन अगर इस समय कोई अगर म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन अगर किसी शहर में भी अगर हमारे को कोई जगह दे दे जहाँ की हर स्कूल के बच्चे उसी जगह पर जाके पौधे लगाए हम एक छोटा सा वहाँ पर फॉरेस्ट बना सकते हैं अगर 97 जो म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन है हमारे देश में उसमें से अगर आपके 9-10 भी आ जाते हैं अगर हमने 9-10 अगर फॉरेस्ट बना सके उसके लिए भी बहुत बड़ी बात हो जाएगी ये तो मंगेश जी आपको क्यों लगता है कि जो अफॉरेस्टेशन की बात चलती है सैप्लिंग्स लगाने की बात चलती है हम सब जानते हैं कि उसकी अहमियत कितनी है अभी तक लोगों ने क्या क्यों नहीं है इतना कुछ हद तक हुआ है अगर आप हिमालय में जाएंगे बहुत से इलाके हैं जहाँ पेड़ दिखते हैं जहाँ एक बार यू नो पेड़ सारे काट दिए गए थे इसको आगे बढ़ाने के लिए क्या क्या करना जरूरी है मैं स्वदेश का उदाहरण देता हूं जो हमने किया है और मुझे लगता है ये एक अच्छा तरीका है और जिस पे काफ़ी लोग चल सकते हैं आज से कुछ साल पहले यही प्रश्न हमारे सामने था कि कैसे इस चीज़ को आगे बढ़ाया जाए तो जिस भाग में हम काम करते हैं रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट महाराष्ट्र में काफ़ी अच्छा कोकण का इलाका है काफ़ी बारिश होती है तो यहाँ पर जब हम इस मुद्दे पर सोचने लगे तो यह आया कि सस्टेनेबिलिटी के हिसाब से क्या किया जा सकता है तो सबसे पहला काम हमने किया कि ऐसे क्रॉप्स ढूंढे जिसका इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट किसान को वहाँ पे रहने वाले लोगों को हो आज मैं प्लांट लगाऊँ सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज आता है प्लांट लगा के उसमें सर्वाइवल रेट बहुत कम है 50-60 परसेंट पेड़ मर जाते हैं बारिश में हम लगाते हैं बाद में ख़त्म हो जाता है लेकिन अगर इसका इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट उस फैमिली को और सब किसान को नज़र आता है तो उस पर ध्यान ज़्यादा देंगे दूसरा हम गए उनमें इन्वॉलमेंट हमने कि हमने फ्री में नहीं बाँटे हमने कहा भी आप गड्ढा बनाइए आपकी कमिटमेंट दिखेगी ओनरशिप उससे आएगी तो वो बहुत ज़रूरी है कि जो इसमें आप लगा रहे हैं कि सैपलिंग लगाएंगे बच्चे तो ये अपनापन एक आता है मैं उस पेड़ से जुड़ रहा हूँ इस साल हम सोच रहे हैं कि अपने दादा दादी नाना ने के नाम पे पेड़ लगाएं तो हमने अभी तक करीबन तीन लाख पेड़ लगाए हैं पिछले दो साल में इस साल हम और ढाई लाख पेड़ लगाने जा रहे हैं पूरे जून के महीने में और हमारा और हमारा लक्ष्य है दस लाख पेड़ पहुंचने का अगले साल तक तो so, हम पूरी तेजी से इस दिशा में जा रहे हैं और बहुत अच्छा कम्युनिटी से रिस्पांस मिल रहा है हमें सुशांत जी ये जो मेंटेनेंस की बात करते हैं या उसको जैसे सैपलिंग्स की अगर बात करेंगे तो उनकी अपकीप करनी है